um, is to raise awareness about those nine children who were adopted and then and they're now under custody and I just feel that they should be in a more stable environment they should be reunited even though the adoptive parents know that something wrong has been done but I wouldn't like my kid to be you know if my kid was adopted then I still love them and I wouldn't want them to be separated and taken care of by welfare I would want them to be in a stable environment with parents and their routine is totally disrupted and routine is very important for children okay? and parent security is very important for them so I think it's, it's, it's very important that they are reunited with proper As a lawmaker I fully understand the rationale of this uh, human trafficking We must unite as one in terms of human trafficking but what happened in Penang, where the 9 of them and the 22 of them were picked up? The way you implement, I strongly object. Because we have to talk about the children's protection. You are against the trafficker. The children are innocent. The parents, they may have not adopt them legally. But in their desperate to have children, to share the love, they are talking about when they adopt them, they are from a baby. So what are their intentions? The intention is to give them love. The intention is because they, are, they want somebody in the family and they are willing to provide. Provide not in terms of care, provide in terms of love and also expenses involved. So, if you need these people so that you can have a stronger case against the human trafficker and even the biological parents, we have still got to investigate whether the biological government, uh, the bi biological mother, they are selling the baby for profit or they are not able to care for the children. Or are these children being kidnapped in other countries and brought in or to be sold? We have got to investigate. So, we should not be raiding houses in the midnight 2 a.m., 3 a.m. We can go during the decent time because these are not criminals. These are people who have got so much love. So, when you pick them up in the daytime, at least consult the welfare department because we are talking about Child Protection Act. And you can brought them for documentations and immediately release it back to them saying that they are now crown winners and also prosecution uh, this uh, evidence. So that the children are not being affected psychologically, mentally. But what happened here is you brought you take them away from a familiar environment to a very unfamiliar. You're talking about the caregiver. The caregiver also unfamiliar to them. And the diet switch is totally different. This will cause health problems. And for the mental, the psychological effects, even the sky is healed. Uh, the, the wound is healed, the sky is there. This is not right. So we appeal to the Home Ministry, who is in charge of the police. Please, we beg you, return the children to the family. I'm very sure the parents are willing to cooperate with the police to provide all information so that you can go up to the people who are doing the trafficking. Expecting that we have more children, then with more children, then it will be able to connect. But as usual, we have more adults, you know. But it's good to, to see some of the children being able to take the lead and, uh, and get uh, people's interest. Yeah. So we hope that the children will be able to release soon because the papers has already gone in. Yeah. Some Thank adults so are emotional. Yeah. So, Why is this so? So I'm not too sure because because the case has already involved about 30, probably 30 over parents, and I think that maybe some of the parents were here. So, but anyway, it's good that everybody gets to learn and gets to know what is really in the uh, Child Act, what is really in the Convention Rights of Children, so that we know how to apply the law correctly and not blindly. Yeah. And how you're living life.
What new things did you learn today? And how did you sleep last night? Did you feel raindrops on your face? Or sunshine in your eye? Of all the questions left unknown, the biggest one is why? Why can't we be together? Why can't I watch you grow? Why can't I guide you through the world? This, I just don't know. But I promise, we will be together. No matter how long it seems, just know, you are always in my heart and always in my dream. Thank you, Ida. Our next item.